Hello, I'm Richard with EV for You Custom Conversions, and welcome to another episode of the EV Answer Man. In this episode, one of the things we're going to discuss is a viewer question regarding don't EVs use coal? Premise being that you know they use coal to generate electricity and we use that electricity to charge our batteries and run the vehicle. So in essence we're using coal and that is partially correct. The US mix of electricity, the um, generation of electricity is from multiple sources, coal being one of them, uh, also natural gas, solar, wind, hydroelectric, geothermal, so forth. And as far as the total use of uh, a resource, coal is the number one when you consider all sources, and that is not just what's generated for retail uh, electric use that's sold to customers like you and I, but manufacturers uh, use a lot of coal because it's cheap. So in the big picture, more coal is used than anything else. So let's address that in the um, realm of an EV. And the, the answer boils down to efficiency. take a look at what's involved to power an electric vehicle in an internal combustion vehicle. The electric vehicle is going to need electricity, so we're going to have power generation, and like I said, that can be generated from a multitude of sources. We've got to distribute that power, which is already in place. You've got power going to your home, and then we have to plug in the vehicle to charge it. The internal combustion engine requires oil, and so we need to drill for the oil. The oil has to be pumped out of the ground, has to be transported to a refinery, has to be refined to gasoline, and we have to transport the gasoline to the gas station, and then we have to pump it out of the tank at the gas station and into your vehicle. Some interesting tidbits here. It takes 2.1 gallons of crude oil to produce one gallon of gasoline. And it takes an estimated 21,000 BTU, which is about 6 kilowatt hours of energy, for one gallon of gasoline, to, to refine one gallon of gasoline. That's only the refining process. And then in that refining process it also takes 44 gallons of water per gallon of fuel. So just like an electric car is much simpler than an internal combustion vehicle uh, component-wise, uh, internal combustion vehicle has the motor and all its internal components, uh, pistons and connecting rods and valves, uh, you know, a fuel system, a cooling system, a lubrication system, just a multitude of components. The electric vehicle has a motor, a controller, a battery, and a charger. So the entire related processes are the same also. One is far more complicated than the other. So without going into great detail, that's pretty much the answer. A few other things. Uh, the average electric vehicle uh, goes about four miles per kilowatt hour. And we saw here that it takes six kilowatt hours of energy just to produce, or not to produce, but to refine one gallon of gas. And so just the refining process uh, would get us 24 miles down the road in an electric vehicle. That one gallon of gas could get you 50 miles 
in a Toyota Prius. But that's not taking into account all the energy required for all the rest of that process. So there's no comparison, or I don't want to say no comparison, but there's, there's a huge difference in the actual cost in either coal or energy in general to produce a gallon of gas than it takes to produce the amount of electricity to put that car, electric vehicle, that same distance. So we're going to have a little surprise for you the rest of this video. Uh, just want to tell you a little bit about next week's. In next week's video, we're going to visit a company that will help you produce your own electricity so that you have uh, the knowledge and the control of where that power comes from. So we're going to visit a company that specializes in solar, wind, and hydro. And so that's in, in next week's episode. Don Lamb runs a 7952, 79.52 on course is Richard Van Weil.
crossing the Carmagia this morning and she did quite well. Uh, the car handled very nicely. The only negative, if you want to call it a negative, was uh, pushing it hard into a turn. The front wheels wanted to kind of slide a little bit and I think that was mostly due to the fact that this is a commuter car and we run the tire pressure a little high. I believe we're running 40 or 42 pounds all around on the Carmen Ghia. And that's a little bit high for uh, the autocross uh, track. So if we had lowered the pressure, I think we could have uh, cut back on some of that uh, sliding around the, the hard turns. Other than that, the car sat nice and flat. It went through the turns very nicely. Uh, when you did back to back, it just smooth. It just it was just it was like a Sunday drive. Uh, so quite pleased. It's always interesting to see how a car will behave when pushed. Um, and I actually got to take six laps around the the course. They had uh, a few issues with their timer and so instead of doing four I got to run an extra couple which was fun. So anyway hope you enjoyed the video. Remember next week we'll talk about solar wind and hydro and we'll see you then.